There we go. So I've started recording. I will hand over to you then, Tamara, to introduce yourself. Fantastic. So I'm going to screen share. So I'm hoping that everyone can see this. <clears throat> and it looks like, well, I don't know about you, but I have to move everyone across somewhere. Put you down here. That's better. OK, well, a lovely warm welcome to the Frazzled to Fabulous mini workshop for stressed, overwhelmed and exhausted mums who want to regain their calm, enjoy their kids and get more done. And um, uh, yeah, sorry, I just wondered if I was at the beginning of my presentation, but I am. And we're gonna talk about a 30 day challenge, which um, is going to help you out if you're up for that. So, um, That's so weird. I am totally not where I, I thought that what didn't look like the first one. So let me go back to the beginning. That's what I thought I was supposed to be seeing. As you can tell, I'm not an expert on this. Okay. So in this workshop, um, Tam's already mentioned that um, she says a lot of people are feeling stressed at the moment, summer holidays, overwhelmed, exhausted, and I'm very excited because I'm going to show you a tool today that will help you to release some of that stress. So if you can relate to any of the things on this page, the impossible balancing act of work, parent, parenting, social life, juggling, or relationship with your, um, with your ex-partner, parenting conflicts with your ex-partner, or stress, about your child's behavior, or maybe it's um, to do with the summer holidays, just put your hand up and you, you know the hand thing. Um, the, there's the hand, uh, what do you call it? Yes, okay, so I can see that some of you can relate to this. Well, you're absolutely in the right place. And I just want to celebrate that despite feeling so stressed over and overwhelmed, you are here today. And that tells me that you care, you're here to make a difference. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. So well done for doing that. So very briefly, a little bit about me. I'm an international EFT master trainer. If you don't know what EFT is, I will be explaining it later. Um, author of the award-winning book, Frazzled to Fabulous in Five Minutes a Day. And I have a copy here. And I specialize in motherhood issues, fertility, pregnancy, and birth. And I have two websites um, where you can find my information. Tomorrowdon.com is my general website. Frazzletofabulous.com is where you'll find the information about the book and my online club. And you can also find me on social media. So I just want to give a scenario. So I know we're in the summer holidays. I should have thought of that. This is like a school related. Um, scenario. So can you relate to this? You wake up late and exhausted after an interrupted night's sleep. It could be because your child or baby's woken you up. It could be because you've got your to-do list spinning around in your head. It could be because you um, are worried about all the things you did do and shouldn't have done or all the things you should have done and haven't or what you said and didn't say and it's going over and over in your mind maybe you're worried about your children and so you have to hit the ground running with a quick cup of coffee or else you can't get going and you're tired and grumpy so you end up losing it with your child because she or he tips his breakfast on the floor or refuses to put her coat on and then you have a near miss on the way to school because your kids are arguing in the car your kids arrive late to school and as you arrive late to work, you're still carrying the guilt of the morning. So hands up if anyone can relate to any of that, even if it's one of those things. Okay, so some of you are saying, yes, you can relate. So I'm going to suggest that it might be possible to do it another way. Now, um, okay, so what about if, and you're probably going to think, yeah, tomorrow, but you don't understand my situation. But just bear with. What if you were to set the alarm five minutes earlier and practice um, a quick de-stress technique for five minutes to help you feel more awake and more prepared for the day, even if you didn't have a good night's sleep? 
And when you notice your anger and impatience arising because your child's tipped her breakfast on the floor, you have you remember to spend just a minute using the technique maybe you remove yourself for a second you do the technique which allows you to respond appropriately to the situation in hand when your children argue in the car you remind them of this technique because this technique is so simple that children can do it and you're thinking you don't and you might be thinking yeah but you don't get it believe me I do does does someone is someone asking something I want to meet? Okay, great, you've muted. And you arrive at work feeling ready for your day. So keep watching and we will talk about how that might be possible. So this is my book, Frazzle to Fabulous. It's um, won an award, the Platinum Award last year. And it's for people, ones who are feeling stressed, overwhelmed and exhausted and are ready and committed to regaining their calm, enjoying their kids and getting more done. And in this book, I provide a 30 day challenge where you just have to spend five minutes a day. And you might say, but you don't understand. I don't have even a minute. Now, what I was saying to Tam just before we started is that most of us have one of these little devices and most of us spend at least five minutes a day scrolling unnecessarily. So how about if you were to change those five minutes and invest them in yourself? It's five minutes out of your 1,440 minutes a day that you have to invest in yourself. And I was saying to Tam before as well, that in a way, we as, as mums are like plants. We need watering, we need sunlight, we need all the things that, that plants need in order to thrive and grow. If you don't water your plant, you're going to wilt, you're going to be tired, you're not going to be thriving. So if we just put a drop of water, that five minutes every single day, mm -hmm. that plant, that you is going to start thriving. So I just want to talk about some of the feedback that I've received from mums doing this 30 day challenge. One mum said, I really did feel so much benefit from doing the daily challenge, very uplifting. It only took around five minutes a session, but I noticed that on the very odd day I didn't do it, how much easier I could become frazzled and anxious. It's now something I want to incorporate into my life and I'm managing so far. Another mum says, I know um, this group is for single mums. This mum isn't single, but you, you can relate to this being quite an overwhelmed mum. As a business owner, owner, homeschooler and wife to a husband with limiting disabilities, this system spoke to my feeling of being constantly being overwhelmed. Sometimes that overwhelm led to feelings of hopelessness that I'll never get ahead and feelings of resentment that I'll never get a break. I experienced occasional insomnia, fatigue, depression, and I was a bit concerned that even this system would be overwhelming but I knew it would be helpful and it was. Tomorrow led topics, including feeling overwhelmed, shifting perspective, focusing on gratitude and other emotions. This system was so beneficial in itself that it also confirmed to me the value of this technique. Um, and so this technique that we, we've been talking about is called EFT. Um, it also stands for Emotional Freedom Techniques and it's also known as tapping. So maybe you can just type in the chat. Um, I like You might say, I don't know what you're talking about, or maybe you'll say, I've watched some videos, I've had an EFT session, I've read about it. Um, so just um, in the chat, just let me know um, where you're up to. So what have we got here? So never heard about it. Um, yes. Um, Absolutely. While these techniques work with mothers, these techniques are, a, apply to all parents, everyone, not just mums and dads, but it's just that I happen to specialise in, in working with mums. Never heard of it. This is very exciting. Oh, don't apologise. I'm very excited. So I have a bunch of complete newbies. Um, this is the best. This is really good. So... Um, but the amazing thing is that not only does it help mums, it also once this tech and dads, once this technique um, becomes your habit, 
you can then start using it with your children. And that's when I get most excited because when you've got your technique, use it on yourself to calm yourself down, use it in your parenting to help you stay calm so that you can respond instead of react. Um, and then you can start teaching your children and empowering your children. And can you imagine your child growing up with this powerful self-help techni technique that they can use from young, from when they're young to adulthood? So they can use it to help. So you can use it with them. Like if you've got a baby, you can use it to help them to fall asleep more easily. Um, the youngest baby that I've I've used this on was um, my sister-in-law's four-month-old baby. She, um, her son was not feeding properly. So I, I just said all the usual mum things. And then I said, how would you feel if I did some tapping on your son? And she said, yeah, sure, give it a go. She didn't really know what it was, but she get, let me do it. And within probably three minutes, um, she was holding him um, and he just started kind of wanting to latch on and he latched she he latched on he had a really good feed and then he fell fast asleep and this is after about 48 hours of not feeding so it's good for babies if you've got um little children who are scared of sleeping you can use it with them at bedtime with um you can use it for things like um uh, um fussy eaters you can use it fear of going to school in fact I've got a whole back to school program with lots of videos that you can watch um to prepare yourself and help you prepare your child for back to school um you can use it uh if they've got aches and pains and anxiety or peer pressure or exam stress Anyway, let me just read a couple of these, or, or all of them, actually. So this um, woman says, tapped with my youngest this morning because she was a bit upset because her sis wasn't going to school today. I asked her what she was feeling, and she said she was jealous. And most of the times I want to go to school, but sometimes I just don't. So I tapped with her for that. Her jealous feelings went from 10, 10 being most jealous, to 3, being not very jealous in the first round and then down to it's gone and I can't feel anything and then she said I want to feel excited so we tapped just one round on that and she was up and at them so that's one experience then um, another mum says just had a wonderful tapping experience with my 15 year old son he starts his year end year 10 end of exams tomorrow they're a really big deal he's worked hard for the last few weeks revising he's confided tonight that he's super stressed and anxious particularly about biology he said he'd like to do some tapping the intensity of the anxiety was nine out of ten when we finished it was at a zero all his initial fears of failing and not having done enough revision were dispelled i then tested him on 15 difficult biology test uh, questions and he nailed it he said the tapping has helped me focus and i know i can do it can we do it every mum every night this week mum so humbling and finally um another mum says on a train journey at the weekend my smallest almost two scratched my other daughter's face aged five there was no retaliation or complaining to me before i could say anything she calmly picked up her little sister's hand and started a setup statement a setup statement is part of the eft protocol and she said what really surprised me is the st setup statement consisted of even though I've hurt my sister and I might feel bad about it, I'm still a great kid. So I'm finding that EFT isn't only helping her deal with her own issues, but to think about other feelings too. Very proud and absolutely fascinating to watch the effects of this therapy unfold in so many different and wonderful ways. <clears throat> so what is EFT? So let me just move this. Yeah, what is EFT? No, I'm gonna move it to that side. It's like talk therapy, but it has a physical component. So we're at, I've, you, I've mentioned the word tapping. So we actually tap on various parts of the body. You can use it on almost anything and it usually gives rapid lasting results. It's like acupuncture without the use of needles. So if you were having acupuncture, these, these are the points where you would be sticking the needles, but we don't have any needles. We just tap on those points. 
And it's a process to identify and eliminate your unconscious blocks to success so that you can achieve your goals more easily. So if you're trying to lose weight or attract the right partner into your life, you can use it for that kind of thing as well. Um, it's empowering and easy, an easy DIY technique that children and adults can use to go deeper with a practitioner. So what can it help with? Well, you name it, it can help <clears throat> with it <coughs> so much, but let's just focus on, so today we're gonna focus on stress, anxiety, overwhelm. It can also help with anxiety, <clears throat> upsetting memories and traumas, limiting beliefs like I'm not good enough, or <clears throat> I'll always be alone. It can help with aches and pains. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> <clears throat> it can help with goal setting, addictions and phobias, and lots more. So what does EFT actually do? Well, um, there have been several studies done, and the research is getting more and more thorough and more and more exciting. But one study that was done was that there were three groups of people. One group had an hour of EFT. One group had an hour of um talk therapy and one group was the control they had nothing and the only group that had a statistically significant reduction in cortisol levels which is the stress hormone was the group that had tapping now when this was first done the reduction in cortisol levels was 24 percent it's since then been repeated that same study and actually they've had results of 40 something percent I think it was 46 but I can't remember around the 40 percent so it's huge and the effect that it has on um it has a, a a calming effect on the amygdala in the brain which is responsible for the release of cortisol which is why the cortisol re releases and in Chinese medicine terms we have um, meridians, which are energy lines, which are flowing all the way through our body. And it's the points on these meridian lines where you would have acupuncture if you were having acupuncture. That's the point that they stick the needles. Now, these meridian lines, they are like garden hose pipes. But instead of water flowing through, they have energy flowing through. Now, when you have a kink in a garden hose pipe, the water can't flow through. When you have a kink in an energy line, the energy can't flow through. Now, by tapping on these points on those meridian lines, it has an effect of straightening up those lines so that the energy can start flowing through. And if you're interested in the research, then please do check out that link. Um, you probably can't copy and paste it. Um, but if you're interested, message me and I can um, I can send it to you. Um, and what else? Oh, yeah. What I was going to say is that the NHS has been very interested in EFT and particularly when it comes to um, PTSD, post-traumatic stress. And they have asked for there to be more research into it so that they can then decide whether they're going to put it into the NICE guidelines. So that is very exciting. And also, as an EFT trainer, I've trained school counsellors who use it really effective with, in schools. I mean, the number of stories I could share is beyond what, what I can, but I so many. Um, I've taught a prison officer. I've taught an, an, an anaesthetist at a London hospital who uses it for his needle phobic patients. We've trained an eye surgeon. Um, and lots of mums and dads and therapists and all sorts of people. So it's like acupuncture without the use of needles. It What you do is you tap on various points of the face and we're actually gonna have a go today. So I hope you're up for it. And you can use either, either hand, either side, it doesn't matter. You can, you can use both hands, you can go across the body. And the invitation will be to repeat the words I say, and if anything feels uncomfortable, then simply don't do it. But just by watching, you're not 
going to get any results. So I really encourage you to have a go. So the benefits of daily tapping improved general well-being, relaxed and happy, easier to focus, therefore being more productive, more energy. And then once it becomes your habit, you can use it as your go to place in times of stress, which will help you to become more present with your children, have better relationships. And you can use it with your children for all the things that I've mentioned already. But what's really incredible, and this is why I wrote my book, this is why I was so motivated to make this into a book, to make it accessible to everyone, is even though I've had years of experience teaching EFT, demonstrating it, when the mums in my in my Facebook group, the first time I did this, I kind of that's when I did the 30 day challenge online. When they started reporting unexpected side effects, I was very surprised and I thought, we haven't been tapping on cravings. So when they said, I've stopped craving sugar or that glass of wine at the end of the day, you know, that was unexpected. I've stopped spending money on myself to make myself feel better because I feel so good. That was unexpected. Period pains disappearing. I have a reason to get up in the morning again. People around me ask me what I've been doing because I seem so much happier. So external validation. Nausea that's been there for the last eight months and she wasn't pregnant um, has just disappeared and phobia has gone. So it was affecting every area of their lives. And I thought this is incredible because we haven't been focusing on those areas. So amazing side effects. So that is the reason for my book. So, and when EFT becomes a habit, mums use it with their children, which is exactly where I want to take this because when children grow up with this habit, this stress relief habit at their fingertips, think about how that's gonna help them in adulthood. Think about when you were a young adult or even now, if you had a tool, if you'd grown up with a tool that could release stress, where would you be today if you hadn't had all the stress piling up, if you hadn't, if when you went for those um, interviews, you could have come in, to, walked into the interviews feeling confident and calm. If you didn't have the exam stress and your mind go blank, if um, you were able to, to um, uh, you know, when you had some romantic breakups, you could tap to release that or any traumatic events, upsetting memories. If you'd had that all your life, think where you would be today. and. I've been tapping for probably around 20 years and I am completely a different person to the one that I was. I mean, of course, we all are different to the ones we were 20 years ago, but the things that used to bother me back then, you know, that they're things of the past. And our daughter has also grown up with EFT. She's now 22. And during lockdown, um, unfortunately, she was, she, you know, she was stuck at home with her parents. and. Um, she decided to also train to be an EFT practitioner. So she's just in her final stages of qualifying now. Um, I'm rambling, let's carry on. So EFT can help with challenging behavior, empowering children with a useful tool, um, releasing fears, anxiety, school pressure, being bullied. And it can support you with your own anger and frustration and anxiety about your child and help you to become a more loving, com compassionate mum and dad. So let's get straight to it. Um, for some reason, I can't see the time on my computer. So, um, Tam, will you kind of give me a heads up when we're like 15 minutes to go or something? Yeah, that's fine. We're at 8.30, so you're absolutely fine. Oh, cool. Good. So here are the tapping points. So let's um, just have a look at them and you can just try them out. So side of the hand, and you can do either hand, either side. We have top of the head, which I know looks very silly, but just bear with me. The beginning of the eyebrow. So just, um, and again, either side, you can do it both sides, side of the eye, end of the eyebrow, under the eye under the nose, under the lower lip. So it's not right on the chin, but it's just under the lower lip. And the collarbone point, don't worry about the precise location, but if you just take the palm of your hand slightly to one side, 
you're going to hit the point. And then under the arm on the bra strap for women or parallel to the nipple for men. And the center of the chest. And you just cross your hands here. So, um, so EFT or tapping can sometimes bring up suppressed emotions and issues to the surface. And while it is my aim for you to leave this session feeling absolutely fantastic, it is possible that you may need additional emotional support after this experience. If that happens, we recommend that you work with a professional EFT practitioner. Um, and if you tap today, you understand that that could happen and you take responsibility for your own well-being. So if that's difficult, don't tap. But if you're fine with that, I really encourage you to give it a go. So this is where we're going to start um, thinking about what is stressing you out right now. So here we have this, this scale. So zero is feeling calm, light and peaceful. 10 is feeling most stressed. And this is the gradient from there. So right now, you see, you can do this two ways. So either you can think about right now, how stressed are you feeling on a scale from zero to 10 and write that down. Or if you're not feeling stressed right now, just think about something, a stressful aspect of being a single parent. So is it the impossible balancing act? But think of a specific situation around that. So is it, is it like, um, for example, it's the summer holidays now. Is it kind of trying to, the overwhelm of trying to arrange childcare every day so that you can go to work? Or is it, um, is it something like um, having to work from home and have your kids uh, running around and not being able to focus and you just feeling so stressed about that? Um, or is it bedtimes? Um, just think about that. Or is it specific uh, relationship um, and parenting conflict with your ex so just think about a specific thing was it like the time uh, yesterday where you had a massive argument with your ex or is it about a specific aspect of your child's behavior so it could be anxiety about the fact that they're not um, adjusting well to school or is it or adjusting well to the fact that you're separated or is it the fact that they're lashing out at you the whole time so if you feel comfortable sharing um, what makes you stressed in the chat, then go ahead and do that because I'm sure it will help other people um, with some ideas as well um, if they can't think of anything. So, um, yeah, it's something you can do with your kids. Um, okay, so um, your ex-partner. So you don't have to write this down, but... Think about specifically what it is about your ex-partner. Is it um, when they don't show up when they're supposed to? Is it every time they do X, Y, and Z? So get it really specific. Um, and you again, you don't have to share. Um, anyone else um, want to share just to help people managing work, private life balance? So again, specifically, um, what is it specifically that happens? Is it uh managing work private life balance um i i don't know exactly what that would be but just um court hearings injustice okay so think about the most recent court hearing um and with that sense of injustice balancing childcare work over the holidays the pressure the pressure juggle so think about specifically the pressure juggle Today, you know, you said that you had to rush back home and to your second job. So what specifically was it like just being really specific about the moment that just was like so stressful? So that's um, what else have we got? Dealing with my angry 18 year old son. OK, um, so is it like when I, I, I don't want to generalize, but I know um, I haven't got any sons so is it when um when I have I've heard teenage boys do a lot of grunting so is it when they grunt instead of um instead of answer you like think about a specific moment um what else have we got balancing childcare, care pressure juggle 
Um, child keeps asking why mummy and daddy can't live together. Stressful for mummy. OK, so, yeah, so that's being more specific. That's great. So think about the last time when child um, asked you that and how it made you feel uh, right now. <clears throat> I'm only at a three or four. Um, big thing that raises my stress levels when I worry about my child being behind physically and fear that she struggles to make friends at school. So, so okay, so think, okay, that's, so right now you're at a three or four, but when you tune into um, worrying about, so choose one of those, but being behind physically or um, uh, struggling to make friends at school. So, um, you know, did she come home and say, oh, so-and-so upset me? Um, or is it the teacher saying, you know, she could interact more with the children? So think about how that manifests for you. Um, so really good stuff here. Let me um, expand this a bit more. Uh, not being heard and understood. So not being heard and understood. Um, so when was the most recent time what, that you didn't feel heard and understood and tune into that? Sheer volume of tasks, uh, household jobs, I'm um, like fixing things. So think about the thing that, like, I know one thing that needs fixing and how you feel about it. So you're all getting the idea. This is great. This is really good. Um, let me just see what the next slide is. Um, OK, I think I'm going to stop sharing for a bit because I want you to see me big. So um, if you want, you can pin me to um, your page so that you can see what I'm doing, if that's going to be helpful. So. The next thing that I'd like you to do, so you've now got your specific situation and I do invite you to write it down. I'd like you to um, think about the emotion that you're feeling about that. So so the emotion could be, is it stress? Is it overwhelm? Is it anxiety? Someone mentioned injustice. Um, so what is the emotion? And the, on a scale from zero to 10, how intense is that emotion? Write that down. Now, the next question, if you don't know the answer, just guess or make it up. But if you knew where you could feel that emotion in your body when you tune into that problem of not being heard and understood or that thing that I can't fix in the house, um, when you think about that, where do you feel it in your body? So, and what is the sensation? So is it this kind of like tightness in my throat or this overwhelming heaviness in my shoulders? I'm just making stuff up, but you know, you get the gist or is it like palpitations, of, you know, or is it, if, is it shortness of breath? So what I'd like, and, and write that down too. Now, what would be really great here is if you could type in the chat what those things are. So what I want to hear is the emotion and the body sensation and the emotion and the body sensation. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So, so, so for example, you can just type in, uh, you've written back pain and what's the emotion associated with that back pain? Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use your words in the tapping routine so that you can then experience it directly so I'm going to be using all your words so when I say someone else's word if you're not experiencing back pain you can still say back pain but you can also tune into what's there for you great so anger pain in my chest perfect so that's that's what I'd like to see for anyone who's willing to share that because the, the more you share the more you're going to get out of this um uh, let's see upset guilt worry so where do you feel that in your body? And if you don't know, just make it up. Overwhelmed tightness in my chest, not in my stomach. What's the emotion of that not in, in your stomach? Is it anxiety? Is it um, fear? Is it worry? Um, guilt, level six, body stiff. Great. I mean, not great, but that's what the answer I wanted. Um, upper back pain. OK, so you're all getting the hang of it. So that's fantastic. So what, I'm what we're going to do now is we're going to tap along and you can tap along with me. Now, um, 
Tam, if you're willing, and you don't, I, I don't want to put you on the spot here, so you don't have to do this, and maybe there's another volunteer if you don't want to. <coughs> it would be really great if you could be my echo, and what I mean by that is that when I'm tapping and saying the words, you can repeat them after me, and everyone else at home can repeat those words to, to themselves. So ideally out aloud if you feel comfortable with that, because when you say things out aloud, you're not only thinking them, you're hearing them because you're hearing your own voice and you're speaking them. So you're using a lot more senses and it's telling your body that you mean business, that you really are ready to um, release some of this. So I guess I could ask if there are any questions at this point before we get going. OK, so. Um, Right, let's let's do this. So, um, so Tam, is that okay, or should we ask for a different volunteer? Yeah, I mean, if anyone else wants to volunteer, you, please, you're absolutely more than welcome. Um, if no one else does, then yes, of course, they will. So, uh, is anyone else wanting to take part, or no? You're fine. I will do it. Not a problem. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you for being willing so side of the hand even though and you say even though even though when i think about this situation when i think about this situation i have all these feelings about it i have all these feelings about it and i acknowledge those feelings and i acknowledge those feelings and i'm open to the possibility and I'm open to the possibility of being kind to myself, of being kind to myself. And then we're going to tap through the points, starting with the top of the head. This pain in my back, this pain in my back. And then to the beginning of the eyebrow, this anger and pain in my chest, this anger and pain in my chest and side of the eye. Feeling upset, guilt, guilt and worry. Feeling upset, guilt and worry. And under the eye. Feeling overwhelmed with tightness in my chest. Feeling overwhelmed with tightness in my chest. And under the nose. I have a knot in my stomach. I have a knot in my stomach. And on the chin point. This guilt and stiffness in my body. This guilt and stiffness in my body. And on the collarbone point, which is just to the side of the centre. Um, this um, upper back pain. This upper back pain. Between my shoulder blades. Between my shoulder blades. And under the arm. This stress in my forehead. This stress in my forehead. And top of the head again. I can feel it in the pit of my stomach. I can feel it in the pit of my stomach. And into my heart. And into my heart. With a lump in my throat. With a lump in my throat. This frustration and back pain. This frustration and back pain. This anxiety and worry. This anxiety and worry. This fury. This fury. All of these feelings that I'm experiencing. All of these feelings that I'm experiencing. Because of this situation. Because of this situation. That's what's here right now. That's what's here right now. And I'm acknowledging it. And I'm acknowledging it. Maybe I can have some compassion for myself. Maybe I can have some compassion for myself. And everything I'm going through right now. And everything I'm going through right now. It's a lot. It's a lot. So I'm open to the possibility so I'm open to the possibility 
of noticing this moment. Of noticing this moment. This present moment. This present moment. Noticing my feet on the floor. Noticing my feet on the floor. And my body in the chair. And my body in the chair. And my breath just as it is. And my breath just as it is. And as you tap under the eye, take a deep, full breath in. And under the nose, coming back to this moment. And on the chin point, I wonder. I wonder. On the collarbone, if it might be possible. If it might be possible. And under the arm, to feel a little bit calmer. To feel a little bit calmer. Right now. Right now. A little bit more relaxed. A little bit more relaxed. A little bit more peaceful. A little bit more peaceful. Maybe a little bit more ease in my body. A little bit more ease in my body. I'm open to that possibility. I'm open to that possibility. And as you tap on the chin point, take a deep breath in. And on the collarbone point. And as you take the next deep breath in, breathe into that part of your body that feels a little bit uncomfortable. And take a deep breath in now. And bringing your hands to the centre of your chest. And say transform, taking a deep breath. Transform. Transform. So that's one round of tapping, EFT. And one of th three things will have happened as you tune in back into your situation, the emotion that you are feeling, um, the body sensation that you are experiencing. So either um, your uh, the, the emotion and the body sensation will have gone down, which is what we hope, um, or it will have stayed the same or it will have gone up. Now, if it's gone up, don't worry. If, if it has gone up, just keep tapping on the side of your hand and take some deep breaths. And the reason that it may have gone up is because you've been rushing around all day, possibly, and you haven't been thinking about anything at all. And now all of a sudden we're focusing on the thing that is really difficult. So it's like you're giving it, a, you're giving it attention, whereas before you'd kind of just brushed it under the carpet. And by giving it attention, it seems bigger, but that's okay because it's coming into your, um, oh good, Rachel's feeling a lot calmer and less tense, wonderful. And that's just, you know, the tip of the iceberg for what's possible. Um, so, so it's okay, just keep tapping and breathing and we're gonna do another round of tapping. And as you continue, it will begin to dissipate. Now, if you feel absolutely no different whatsoever, that's okay too. Um, we've only done like a tiny bit of tapping. Sometimes it doesn't change at all because you're so focusing on what I'm doing, concentrating and not, and it's all very unfamiliar. So you're not used to it, which is fine. Um, just keep doing it. And there can be many, many other reasons why you may not have experienced anything, but I can't go into those in this call, there are some of the reasons described in my book, but if you're concerned that you're not experiencing anything and you don't, by the end of the session, you can reach out for me and I can give you personal guidance because there's so many different reasons why that could be. Now, other, th other ways that people experience um, a round of tapping is that they might feel lighter, they might feel heavier, they might feel um, more, energized, tired, more tired. They might be kind of tingling in the body or lightness. 
you might have found that you're yawning a lot. That's a good sign of energy releasing or taking some deeper breaths some big sighs, sometimes even burping. So all these are signs that your body is responding really well to the tapping. Can you share that script and instructions on where to buy it? So I just made up the script um, and where, on where to tap. So everything, so in my book, um, I've got all the instructions on where to tap. Let me, um, I think there's a little picture somewhere. I've got a, like a picture. Oh, that's really annoying, isn't it? Because I'm screen sharing. You can't see anything. Shall I turn my screen sharing up? Oh, my. Oh, let me just if I no. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, so in my book, um, all the information and also I've got loads and loads of tapping scripts in the book. So lots to follow. So so you everything, everything is in the book. But that specific one I just made up with all the words that um, you get. Can you do it as long and as many times as you like um, in the day? Absolutely. The more you do it, the better results. I feel a little tingly. Great. That's wonderful. So when I say five minutes a day, I'd say that's the minimum. But if you can do it first thing in the morning when you wake up, and I know that's really difficult for a lot of parents, but even if you lock yourself in the loo and do it, keep the book in the toilet. Or if you're if you're going to join my online club challenge, which starts at the beginning of September, you can just keep your phone in the toilet and lock yourself in there for five minutes. Um, or once you become proficient at it, you can do it in the shower. Obviously, you're not going to take a book of phone in the shower, but um, you know you can listen to my video with you my because uh, I, I i on in the club i give you a video an audio and a tapping script so that you can access it in whichever way suits you best um so yes and if you want to get to the root cause of all of these issues then um you can do it with a with a practitioner like myself and then you do our sessions and you can really get to the root of why things are the way they are but there's a lot you can do on your own so don't think you need to have sessions um and uh feeling very relaxed all over right now I didn't realize how tense and stressed I was oh sending big hugs yes I feel a bit lightheaded okay if that's um an unpleasant lightheaded just tap on the side of your hand take some deep breaths some deep breaths otherwise you know go with it feeling freer lighter I like your calming voice. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, I started yawning, but hadn't before. I felt like I felt bad for it until you said it was normal. Yeah. Once I get tapping on myself, I can't stop yawning. I just kind of go and go and go. The biggest hippopotamus yawns you can possibly imagine. Not usually when I'm facilitating because I'm not really focusing on my stuff. So. Um, what would be really good is if anyone had any challenges, now is the time to ask before we go on to another round. So anything that didn't feel right, that was difficult. And if you don't feel asking in the group, you can always um, ask, you know, you can always message me. Um, okay, so um, how about we, do a round of tapping on having a great night's sleep. That sound good? Hands up anyone, you can put your hand up or would you prefer continuing on the stress? Uh, okay, we've got some thumbs up here. Um, yes, great, good. So let's have a great night's sleep. Okay. Um, yeah, so sometimes sometimes emotions can come up. So tears is often something that come up. So if anyone's feeling tearful, that's completely okay. Um, and it's completely normal. And just keep tapping on the side of the hand, taking some deep breaths. So good. Okay. So um, I'm going to make some stuff up. Uh, but you know, if my words 
aren't you can't relate to them then just change them um i think if we go a little bit over is that going to be okay yeah that's absolutely fine people can hop on and off if they need to it's not a problem okay so i think what i'll do is i'll just finish um my presentation and then at the end if you want to stay for the um good night tapping then we'll do that together so let's just finish off here so <clears throat> so how stressed are you now so we've had we we've asked that so the big thing is that for eft to work you actually have to do it it's no good listening to me thinking yeah that sounds really good i had a great result and tomorrow just going back to where you were i don't you've probably heard this expression the de definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result which is what einstein said so if you want to change how you're feeling your stress overwhelm anxiety exhaustion you're going to have to take action and five minutes is all that it takes, as I said before. So there are two ways of doing that right, right now. You can buy my book. Um, it's on Amazon, Frazzle to Fabulous, um, in five minutes a day. You can go to my Frazzle to Fabulous website, and there you will have you will see lots of video testimonials of people who've been through the book. So just um, if you don't have to take my word for it, you can actually hear other people talking about it. Um, and then in September, I'm doing, I'm starting a new um, Frazzle to Fabulous club for mums. And this club, there's going to, um, if you join um, before, if you join now, you're going to get half price for the first month, but also you're going to get all my back to school videos as well. So I will share a link to that, but is, yeah, I'll share a link to that. Um, but you can get it all from frazzletofabulous.com. Um, so typical people have good intentions, life gets in the way, they fall off the bandwagon, they beat themselves up for failing and giving up, or you can have compassion, which is so important. We all need to give ourselves loads more compassion. <clears throat> so you can, as I said, you can buy the book, you can join the club, um, you can download a free chapter if you would like to, um, and you can follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest. Um, no, and that's it. So let's let's get back to the tapping now. Um, so I want to stop sharing. Oh, there we are. Uh, you're very welcome, Ruth. Uh, she's probably gone now. Okay. So even though, um, do you want to um, echo me? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I've had a really busy day. I've had a really busy day. I'm gonna do what you've told me, Tam. So um, I've just got back from one job. I've just got back from one job. And now I'm doing another. And now I'm doing another. And I've probably got so much to do still. Well, I've got so much to do still. Before I go to bed. <laughs> Before I go to bed. And life is exhausting. And life is exhausting. There's so much to juggle. There's so much to juggle. And I could really do with a good night's sleep. And I could really do with a good night's sleep. And I soothe and comfort myself. And I soothe and comfort myself. And tapping through the points, starting with the top of the head. I really need a good night's sleep tonight. I really need a good night's sleep tonight. Wouldn't it be wonderful? Wouldn't it be wonderful? If I fell asleep. If I fell asleep. As soon as my head touches the pillow. As soon as my head touches the pillow. And slept deeply and fully. And slept deeply and fully. A deeply restorative sleep. A deeply restorative sleep. A deeply nourishing sleep. A deeply nourishing sleep. 
deeply revitalizing sleep. A deeply revitalizing sleep. And even if I wake up in the night. And even if I wake up in the night. Wouldn't it be amazing? Wouldn't it be amazing? If I fell straight back to sleep. If I fell straight back to sleep. Waking up at exactly the right time. Waking up at exactly the right time. Feeling refreshed. Feeling refreshed. Energised. Energised. Um, motivated for my day. Motivated for my day. Feeling radiant and vibrant. Feeling radiant and vibrant. And maybe there's part of me. And maybe there's part of me. That really isn't buying into this. That really isn't buying into this. I don't think that's possible. I don't think that's possible. I haven't had a good night's sleep for a long time. I haven't had a good night's sleep for a long time. And there's so much on my to-do list. And there's so much on my to-do list. That I can't switch off at night. That I can't switch off at night. What if I was able to let that go at night? What if I, if I was able to let that go at night? Giving my body the best chance. Giving my body the best chance. To sleep so well. To sleep so well. Infusing into this night's sleep. Infusing into this night's sleep. Deep relaxation. Deep relaxation. Surrendering into a beautiful night's sleep. Surrendering, surrendering into a beautiful night's sleep. Letting go of my to-do list. Letting go of my to-do list. Knowing and trusting that my children are also sleeping well. Knowing and trusting that my children are also sleeping well. And they are also waking up at exactly the right time. And they are also waking up at exactly the right time. Feeling happy and refreshed. Feeling happy and refreshed. Deep sleep energy. Deep sleep energy. Infusing that into every cell of my body. Infusing that into every cell of my body. And every fibre of my being. And every fibre of my being. Infusing that into every night's sleep. Infusing that into every night's sleep. Because I'm open to the possibility. Because I'm open to the possibility. Of magic and miracles. Of magic and miracles. And say transform and take a deep breath. So how are you doing now? Are you feeling the same, different, better, worse? What came up for any of you? You can type it in the chat or you can say it out aloud. Very calm, good. Same. Same as you felt before or same as very calm? Um, less tense, great. Why is tapping only there and not anywhere on the legs, for example? There are tapping points on the legs. Um, and actually the, the tapping point that we do use on, on the legs is, um, is actually contraindicated in pregnancy. So we don't tend to use it a lot. There are also finger points and there's also um, a wrist point, but those are the, the, the points that we've been using. I mean, there are lots and lots of um, acupuncture points that in theory you could tap on, but these are the ones that um, the founder of EFT um, found that he got the best um, use of. Still, same, still calm. I feel the same. So when you say same, still calm, and I feel the same, so no change, I can't stop yawning, that's good. I feel quite 
I felt I was quite calm before though. That's good. There are basic template you use scripting the chant. It seems to start with an acknowledgement of how you're currently feeling, then telling yourself it's okay, then going on to what you'd like to achieve, feel absolutely. Hazel, you've got it in a nutshell. Um, I will definitely give it a go on a date on a regular basis. Thank you. You're very welcome. So so the, the setup statement is even though, and then you say, I have this problem. So whatever the problem is, and then you say a positive um acknowledgement. So I soothe and comfort myself, I accept myself. And then on the tapping points, you can just use a reminder phrase, acknowledging what's there. And then as time goes on, when you feel ready, now obviously I'm doing group tapping, so I don't know when you're ready, but then you can bring in some positive. Do you only use the right hand? No, you can use both sides, one side, doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter which side you tap on. So any other questions? Thank you for sharing this practical tool with us to use any time to de-stress. Absolutely, any time, anywhere. Um, yeah. Vanya, do you have a question? Yes, Tamara, I have a question. For example, one, two questions. One question would be, it depends on the child's age. So the older children, they can actually repeat after you if you do this with your child and the younger one, they just listen to the calming voice. So and um, you can actually tap on your on your children. So you can take your yeah, child's yeah. hand. Do and they have to repeat on. if they can speak? If they can speak, they can repeat. If they don't want to repeat, you can say it for them. Okay. And also um, with children, you, you can, oh, okay. You can, you, I've got a tapping teddy and he's got like little hearts on the points where you tap. <clears throat> so um, what you can do is you can, like if your child's feeling something, you can say, what, what is Teddy feeling? And then you can actually tap on Teddy to make Teddy feel better. So you can use you can use a tapping Teddy as well, which obviously is not very clear, but you can. And you know, with SCN children, uh, what I've noticed is when you're doing this or a, back on the head, would be the same effect if you replace tapping with like this? Because when you were tapping, I did both this or this. Would that be the same effect if you are doing, you know, like this? Well, the, the important, important thing is that you, whatever you do, you do it on these points. Yeah. So some people, um, you, can, you can touch and breathe on the points. So instead of tapping, you can touch the point and take a deep breath, or you can okay. gently touch point, yeah. Or just rub very gently. So you can do that if 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 the tapping is, you know, especially at bedtime, you know, you might not because tapping could be quite waking. You could just do some touching and breathing. And you had what I've noticed when I was doing to myself, I prefer to have my eyes closed. I yes. know about you. You can do that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, I will definitely give it a go. Do you only know? Uh, thank you for sharing this. OK, very interesting. Thank you. Potentially no such thing as a stupid question. Um, would you use your fingers on the child's fingers? Would you use your fingers or the child's fingers? Ideally, what for the child to do it themselves? So you can, so um, if this is your child, you can literally like tap on their points or you can encourage them to tap on their points, <laughs> if you see what I mean. So, or you're, you're saying, should you hold your child's fingers and get them to tap? I've never thought of that before, but that's a really interesting possibility. You could, you could do that, but it doesn't matter if you tap on their on their points as well. Um, okay. Great, good. So um, if there are no more questions, then I think that's it. Thank you, Tam, for inviting me. It's been great.